Hi Lincoln Charter School students, it's Mrs. Peterson here. Today we're going to be making some pattern pumpkins. So let's get started. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to hold your paper horizontally side to side and you're going to write your name and you're going to write your room number. After you do that, you're going to flip over your paper so that I can't see your name anymore. For this project, you will need a pencil and something to color with. I'm going to be using a combination of markers and crayons today, but you can use what you have available to you. So we were learning about artist Yayoi Kusama and how she made pumpkins filled with different patterns. She loved to make pumpkins in her artwork. We are going to be drawing one big pumpkin and then if you have room, you can make smaller pumpkins. I want to show you how to draw a pumpkin. To make a pumpkin, I just make a nice big long oval. And then off of that oval, I'm going to be making curves on either side like this. And remember, it's always important to draw in pencil first. That way, if you make a mistake, you can always go back and erase. I think I'm going to make my pumpkin really big, so I'm going to do one more row of curves. If you notice, they get a little bit smaller as I get towards the edge. Then I'm going to add in the stem of my pumpkin and I'm going to put a couple more curvy lines back here for the back part of my pumpkin. Looks like I have room here for one smaller pumpkin, so I'm going to draw a smaller one that's sitting behind this pumpkin. So I'm going to do the same type of thing, but make it smaller. I'm going to start with my long skinny oval, and then I'm going to draw the rest of my pumpkin. Maybe this one will be a little bit smaller. Do my stem and the curvy lines. I'm also going to just draw a horizontal line that goes all the way across my paper so that it looks like the pumpkins are sitting on the ground. Once I'm finished with pencil, I'm going to trace with either a crayon or a marker. I think I'm going to trace my project with an orange marker because it is a pumpkin. So I'm just going to trace everything with this orange marker and then I will check back in with you. I finished tracing my pumpkins and now I'm ready to go in and add some patterns on my pumpkins to make them kind of funky and crazy. I also just traced the stems of my pumpkins and the line that I drew for the ground. I'm going to try to make each pattern different. Please don't copy all of my patterns when you do this project. You can always think of your own patterns or I will also post some ideas of patterns that you can do. Remember, patterns are lines, shapes, or colors that repeat over and over again. I'm going to draw my patterns with marker. If you would like, you could always draw them in pencil first. So I'm just going in and I'm starting to make my pattern and each section of my pumpkin is going to be a different pattern and a different color. So here I'm doing a checkerboard pattern. Checkerboard patterns are pretty easy to make because you just draw vertical lines and then you draw horizontal lines. And then I'm going to pick a different color and I'm going to do the next section of my pumpkin a different color for my pattern. I think for this part I will do spirals. So I will continue to add a different pattern in a different color to each section of my pumpkin. And when I'm finished with that, I will show you the final step. I finished adding all of my patterns and I even decided to add a pattern to my table. I added to pad pattern in the background and I added some patterns on my stems. The only thing I have left to do, and this is an optional last step, is I can go back in with crayon and I can color my project. So I'm going to get started on coloring my project and I will show you what it looks like when it's all finished. I'm finished coloring my project and I'm really happy with how crazy and colorful my pumpkins are. Remember, coloring this project is an optional step. 
I will be happy as long as you draw your pumpkins and add a different pattern to each pumpkin. I can't wait to see what crazy patterns you created. I'll see you guys soon.